In this project, registered users who are architects are able to go in and create an architect's profile and then add projects that they've worked on. So here I'm using the map functionality to zoom down to a particular architect. And here you can see that I can edit and actually add in the name of a new architect. And as I add in a name, it will recognize the names of other architects who are already listed in the system. What you'll notice with this admin theme is that it's been styled to look the same as the front end. So we've taken standard Drupal functionality, but spent a lot more time and effort to make the back end look as neat as the front end. Acting as a registered architect, I'm now going through and adding a new project to my profile. That involves me going through a step of creating a new building, where I put in the building name and put in an initial photo that I can then upload as part of that building. You'll see that we've built a wizard process into the admin theme here where the new project is entered via a four step process. Once that four step process is completed, this project would go off to the administrators at FIDEN to be able to approve that project. Then the architect is able to add as many images to that project as they like. So here on an approved project that's already been entered, I'm now going to go in and add a new exterior image to that project. I enter the name of the image, I can list the source, and again the system will recognise any existing sources, give it a credit, say what type of picture that it is, select my picture, upload it, and then once I've uploaded it, I'll be able to crop it. Save that and then that would then appear on my profile once it's been saved. While full inline WYSIWYG editing on CMSs is beyond the capability of most open source solutions, here's a good example of why you might not want to do it. I'm going to edit the pointer on a map here. I wouldn't necessarily want to do this in the front end because that may get in the way of the functionality of actually being able to navigate content on that map. This application is also powered by Solar, so I'm searching here for the word space and you can see that I've got filtered results, architecture, architects um, as part of those search results. I'm now going to click in and go to a particular project. Basically, because this site is all about architects' contents and building contents, all of the images are high res. And because they're high res, we're able to use functionality to be able to zoom in so that we can see specific details of buildings that have been entered into the system. So here's all the images that are actually part of that project and I'm just going to scroll through and select one and zoom in and out. Hopefully this video has given some demonstration of how we can customise the Drupal backend to make it a much more pleasurable usable experience. This was particularly important in this project because it's end users who are registered who actually go in and edit the content on this site as an end user of the site as opposed to an internal content manager.